am Tori and this is my second video for the Barrelette Clutch. This will show you how to sew the end pieces onto the main body of the clutch. Hopefully I can get an angle that is not too awkward. Okay, so I take my purse and first thing I'm going to do is put um, match the side piece to this edge right here of the body. Now normally I'd start at the very top, but this is a very thick Velboa that I'm using and uh, this is a thick seam and this is a thick seam. So I'm going to put them just right underneath each other so that it's not, so hopefully I'm not breaking any needles. Then I put it under the needle. If you have, if your machine has the ability to turn on, a, click a button or something so that the needle stays down, use that because you're going to be uh, needing that. All right, I'm going to use my scissors to shove this under the foot because it's quite big. Okay, now I'm going to just start by feeding it on the right with the wheel. Go very slowly because it's thick. Back stitch. I don't always have to hand feed it, but this is a thick fabric. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to sew down a couple inches until the. Okay, I'm going to my threads right now so they're not in the way. It's just my personal preference. Okay, let's see if I can do this from my angle a bit. Uh, this is where the side piece starts to curve and I'm going to pull this up and pull this over at the same time. Oh man, I don't know how to make this better angle. I'm going to put it over here for now. So pull this up, pull this over so that they're both, once again, flush on the right edge. So, oh, it's curving again. Foot up, needle down. And I actually bend this back towards me. Do a little bit more. Foot up. Bend it even more. Sometimes I can only do a few stitches. And then I have to put the foot up, bend it back in on itself. And the the foot, the needle moves back and forth a little bit. So before I start stitching, I make sure that it's right in the middle. That way on the back side, my stitches are straight and not wavy. Let's take some muscling. I also found my other machine has a little harder time doing it. I don't know if it just has less room underneath or if it sticks out farther, but this machine has no problem. Every time I reposition, I move the foot up, then I put it back down, and I finish. Back stitch, forward stitch. There's my first end. Um, let me run and get a, a ruler. The ruler I usually use is in the box that's propping up my phone. Okay. So what I do now is I measure this distance from the edge of the side up to the corner because sometimes depending on where you start, it's a little more, a little less. So I measure that. It looks like for me, it's about one and three quarters. So then I take my other side, my other corner with a flap, and I measure down from there, one and three quarters, 
that's where I'm going to start sewing the side. This angle is a little better. So I measure from the top corner. This is where I'm going to start sewing. Okay. So we get underneath the presser foot, put it down. Be careful because it is thick. So I sew uh, maybe about a quarter, not quite a quarter inch from the edge. It's more like three sixteenths. Sometimes I do an eighth, but that can be um, that can be really. It's hard for me to maintain that. Three eight, three sixteenths is enough that it's right under my foot, and I can keep it stable. So that's my preferred distance from the edge, but you can do what works better, best for you. I can tell you it really stinks to do it on stripes. Because <laughs> then you have to be very consistent. Okay. Oops. So, this is where I have to lift the presser foot, move this over, and start sewing again. And and I'm gonna have to be pulling this edge towards myself. So I'm gonna start. This purse takes quite a beating just being sewn. It's trying to slide off the desk. All right, as I reach the end, the purse goes into a nicer curve. It feels less like I'm breaking it in half. This is one of the things that I hate. <laughs> I don't think that I measure quite perfectly. And I ended up with a larger distance here than I have on this side. That usually doesn't happen, but yeah, sometimes it does. So I'll probably undo these stitches and redo it so that there's not half an inch of space here, but it's closer to the quarter inch on the other side. But, mistakes happen. And now, your purse is done. <laughs>